This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. What do we think the program does? Now, students, keep in mind, you're not going to be able to run this till you type something here. But once you hit run, you're not able to change your answers. It submits to your teacher. And if that's me, me. <laughs> All right. So let's think about this carefully. Um, what are we going to be doing? When we smack run on this guy, it looks like we generate a new array list and we populate it with uh, these values, integer values, 42, sure. And then we do a enhanced loop where each item of our list is going to be printed out, right? So all this is doing is num list. Each integer from our num list is represented by the word item, system.out, print out the item. So we'll print out these values. Uh, we then print a blank line, it looks like. Uh, we now have a standard array or a, a, an array of primitive values, primitive uh, data types, ints. And then we populate this uh, using each index, same values. Oh, interesting. And then we're going to go ahead and print out this array using the same uh, enhanced for loop. So we've seen, uh, you might not remember, but we've seen an enhanced loop used on a standard array already. And well, it works. We've also seen an enhanced loop seen on an array of doubles or on an array of strings, right? So the data type hasn't mattered before for a loop like this. We've been able to use different data types and it works fine. So I would suspect then, thinking about that, that an integer data type or a class or whatever you want to call this is going to work just fine because our track record says so. So of course you use your own words and probably say it better than I, but my bullets would be something like something like that. Uh, but of course, complete sentences and more thought out. I'm just throwing stuff down. Let's see what it does. Bam, bam. Identical. Cool. Onward.